Hi, welcome to this new video tutorial. Today, as part of our big data processing videos, today we start with a brand new video on Java, Spring Boot, uh, with Kafka running in Docker. For the requirement, you will have JDK 17 installed in your system and also having the latest versions of Maven. Here I have 3.99. And then also having Docker installed in your system as well as your preferred IDE. Uh, for the projects one, we'll create also Spring Boot versions 3.34, and we also uh, yeah download the latest versions of uh, Kafka from Boostmeister and install it in our Docker. So without a further ado, let's go. Here I use uh, the Spring Initializer. If you know it's first time that uh, you are not familiar with it, just Google Sprint Initializer, like this one, with set R. And yeah, you get to this website. Now we start here, I'll enter the artifact name, Java Kafka Tutorial v01 and then here I enter the description java and kafka and here the packaging is jar and then the versions of java is 17. we also need as for this example here we will create a small uh, producer we will create um, a rest api from where you are going to send our message. So we need Java web. And then we also need to have Kafka messaging. This one here. So that is it. We generate the code. It is there. We go to the folder, right click it. Properties. And then you get something like allow here, it's in German, but in your operating system, your computer will be a different language. You just allow it, apply, okay. Then we extract it. Here we have extracted our code. I'll copy it, cut it, then going to paste it in uh, this folder here. So once this one is ready, uh, the next thing that I will need to do is to open uh, VS Code IDE. You can also use uh, IntelliJ or Eclipse or whatever you want. But here I use uh, in, uh, VS Code, then open the folder and then go here and then here is java kafka here we open it so that is it here we go to our pom everything is there java 7 this is version 3.34 java 7 things we have uh, our web uh, spring boot starter web and the kafka dependencies which are there Then, in order to do this one, we have two uh, stages. First, we are going to write our code, then we are going to set up uh, our Docker, uh, our images in Docker. So we can go that way, proceed in that way. First, we start uh, with our project structure. And then, first, for uh, Kafka, we will need a producer and and a consumer and then yeah the producer is going to post a message to a topic and then send it to the broker and then the consumer will consume it will subscribe to a topic and then consume uh, that message so this is how we do and you are going to use a, a rest api to send a message so for that one, for the producer here, you'll need uh, a producer service. We call it Kafka uh, 
producer service here we are going to annotate it with at service and then inside uh, we can't do it that way let's go uh, come back to that later and then we also need a consumer service we call it kafka consumer service uh, that is it and for our rest uh, service then we'll need to create a controller we call it hello wall controller So here we are going to annotate this one with at rest controller and for the consumer here we are also going to annotate it with service. So here is uh, what we need and then we'll also need uh, we also need a applications properties in the application properties here. So uh, here we are not going to use this one. I will use YAML. So I will create, we create also another applications.yaml file. Uh, he added that one here, so then once that one is done, so it's honor to move faster here. I just prepare this one, the script here. So here we have Spring Kafka here, the address of the broker. Here is the address of the broker that we are setting. Then here is the consumer. Here is our consumer. For the consumer, we have the consumer group and uh, here auto offset reset here so each time we have a new consumer if it's a new consumer it will always go and start reading from the start beginning of the queue so for example if we have 10 messages that's already there in our queue and we create a new message in a new consumer then it will go and start from the yeah because it's new it doesn't have any history then you will go and start from the first messages of our queue and read before yeah doing whatever so and then here we have the serializer we have that one here and also we have this uh, the serializer class for the value in kafka messages here is our producer here then the producer same thing we have the key serializer and then here is the value uh, serializer that you have also added then that is it and then yeah more on this one can be found on yeah kafka online documentation so for this one here is what we need for that one let's go back to our code to our producer service and then in the producer service here what we need here is private we need a Kafka template. Here, Kafka Sorry. Uh. Kafka template. So we have string here for the topic and a string here for message and yeah declare a variables that is it and then we have we get a constructor to inject it 
Kafka service. Here we can just copy this one, put it there, then come back here, this template equal to Kafka template. And then here we also need to send a message. So public void send message string message. And then Kafka template sent topic that we have will be called hello world topic. Here is the message here. And then here is uh oh, okay. Oh, sorry, here this should be a uh producer is not a consumer so that was the error there uh, then that's okay yeah oh a problem with coding so minor errors so here we need to define our consumer uh, same thing here we have to define uh, the listener so in order to do that one here, I will need to define a Kafka listener. Or we can just start with our method first, public, what listen, string, message, And then here we are going to print as soon as we read, we receive a message, we are going to print it to the console. Receive message. I have it, receive message and then, sorry. Message here, we can copy this one and then we add it here. Print len. Okay, plus here. So that is it. So we have to annotate it with a listener Kafka with Kafka listener. Here we pass the topics. Our topics is equal uh, to this one that we have here. We post to this one. So we copy that one and we also need to add that one there. And then we also need to pass the group. 
ID. Uh, remember here is the group ID that we pass here for the consumer. So we copy this one. And then we also need to assign it here. So our consumer will be listening to this group. Here we have many consumer. We can assign them to the same group. Yeah. And then here's the topic. So that is it. We have defined our producer here. And the consumer, it is almost there. This one is not needed. Handler is not needed. So then the next thing that we need is to go to our controller and then try to design uh, our service now. So for our controller, we need to inject uh, we need to inject our producer service. So it's called Kafka producer service. Producer service is there. We use controller initializations. So public here, hello world controller. Then easy busy, we copy this one and we assign it there and then this producer equal producer here, then sorry. So now we define our service uh, public string send message And then we have this one, let's go step by step. So many things, so we can annotate this one with a request mapping. Uh, what do we get now? Okay, so I will take this one. I have the boil stamp it here. So even, even easier, so right now, we are going to send our service here using this one, using send, and then this one we don't need it. Okay, and the string parameter here, request message here, we are going to have a parameter called message in the URL, we call this one message. Sorry, what am I doing it here? That is it. And then now return. Message sent to message sent to we are going to send the message to Kafka. This is what we are going to write. Let's format how we present our message in the web page. We return this message now. Uh, what are we missing? We have the producer here, service is not yet used, so we seem to send this message that message, this message that we receive here, we have to send it to Kafka broker, and then for that we are going to need the producer service sent message that is it here and then we request we what we don't need, we get rid of it so yeah, at this stage now we have our code ready our code is 
almost ready now and then what we can do is uh, we can try to build it so Maven clean is still Okay, so we need to set up uh, we need to set up we make use of this one here so we need to set up our Uh, our environment here in docker and then for that one I need here is docker compose file yeah it's docker compose.yml So, yeah, so make it faster. Here, what we have here, hmm. we have our service here. This, yeah, we have the service. This is Zookeeper here, and then this is an image that we want to retrieve from the Zoomeister. And here are the port that was posed for the Zookeeper. And this is our network definitions that we attach to. Uh, from where we attach the Zookeeper container to our custom network and for the Kafka service, same thing, exposing uh, the ports 9, this is standard default uh, 9092 ports for the OS as well as for, for the Docker environment for, as for the environment here we have the Kafka listeners, advertised listeners, the Zookeeper to which we are connecting. As we know, yeah, the Zookeeper is keeping, uh, controlling all the Kafka instances that we may have. Then we need to connect to the Zookeeper to this port, which is exposed here. And then, yeah, here we define the broker ID, the network, and then down here, now we are going to set uh, the image here for this one. Uh, here is the image for this one. I will say that for this one, I will not need this one for now. Uh, Take this one out. Here is our network. Here is our network and the bridge, default bridge. So that one said, I need to fire up our compose file. Then Docker compose up D. See, it's pulling, and by the time that it is pulling, here I'm going to need a Oh, so many things here. I need to need I need uh, the Docker file. So we need to define our Docker file. So here is mm -hmm. 
here is our docker file that we define here and then bam so started and running if you go here and pop 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 to the container here scroll down here and we can see that it is running the zookeeper is running on this 2181 and kafka is also running on 9092 so it's going as expected and then next thing that i'm going to do now is try to rebuild my code and the code here is uh, consumer okay I have something here with the test context is failing okay so going back here we get let's go here inside our test here I see uh, going back and because yeah this is because you want Kafka to be available during the test and then for that one we need to embed it so I come here embed Kafka you want Kafka to be available during the test so here we have to define the partitions one and then also the topics here git random test topic and that is it and then you see if you scroll down and try to build our code again it is successful here so you also need to you have to take care of uh, this uh, of taking care on embedding Kafka in the test too if you want to use it so that one is there and we can come here and see the names of we take these names here of our jar file and then we come here in our docker file in docker file here we are going to make use of this now so now time to get serious now and yeah build the docker image for the spring boot and in order to do that one uh, what we need here is the docker command docker build t then we call it kafka hello world app 01 yeah and then our image is ready 
And then next thing that we need to do now is to check uh, the network. The Docker network. Docker network list. And then here, here is the name. We already have many networks here. So here is the names here. Here's the network name that I have. So I will need this one in order to run. to docker run network Then we need the name of our image. Eighty eighty. Then our image name. Bump here, so it's ready now. And as you can see here. Here is our consumer here, which is listening to to this topic here, a low world topic. Here is the group ID. And then now if you go on the local host, we go here at the local host first here. Uh, nothing is happening. Let's make this way and see what happened. Send a message variables hello wall. So you can see bump here that the message producer sent this one. Here, producer sent the message and then a message is received here by the consumer and then bump here, the message also sent here. So, we can also change this one to I, I just put this message, I sent I have sent a new message and here the message is received so you can see that the content of our queue here then uh, each time that our consumer receive a message here A message here is published in the console. 
So everything is working as expected. Yeah, it was a bit longer to set up and do all this uh, stuff here. But the important thing is there, this is how we can, uh, we can actually uh, connect uh, Kafka with Spring Boot and play along with it. And yeah, so I intended to show you this one and show you some key steps how you can proceed to do this one. And yeah, so I will post this code, I will post this video and also attach this link uh, to these uh, projects in the descriptions if you find it useful. That's okay. And if you have any comment, feel free to drop it. If not, thank you for watching and then see you in the next tutorial. Bye.